Pradeesh Kabriai, I'm an attorney at CCR. Our client, Ghala Balbahani, spent 15 years of his life in Guantanamo under the brutality that we know has happened there because of a decision he made when he was 21 to serve in the kitchen of a group aligned with the Taliban before 9-11. Today he is experiencing the first days of his freedom from Guantanamo and has a chance to rebuild because of the worldwide movement that grew to shut the prison down. So thank you from Ghalib and from all of us to the activists, to the journalists, to the lawyers and the supporters who fought with Ghalib and with CCR over all these years. Today it's going to take another movement going forward. There are still dozens of men who remain detained, a prison det system at Guantanamo that is gaping open for the Trump administration to refill, and a policy of indefinite detention that will continue at Gitmo and perhaps beyond. The legacy group the Obama administration is leaving behind includes men like our client Sharkawi al Haj, who was chained in an underground CIA prison before he was brought to Guantanamo. These are men who aren't too dangerous to release, but whom the United States tortured, and who are about to be handed over to an administration led by a president-elect who doesn't care that torture is depraved and is called for the same and worse. Our work is cut out for us. It's going to take our collective energy and ideas to meet the, the, the challenges ahead.